Hey everyone, Big A Games here, coming to you with another quick Baldur's Gate 3 exploit. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, been pretty busy, but let's get into it. So as most of you may know already, you can reset the vendor's inventory by taking a long rest, but it had been brought to my attention recently that you can actually reset the vendor's It'll inventory by leveling up. Recover. And I know what most of you might be thinking, step. Big A Games, that's not that's an cool. exploit. Well, what I'm about to show you is definitely not intended how this game is supposed to be played so what we're doing here is we're just checking the vendors remaining inventory and taking the items that we want from when we were doing the glitch before because we haven't taken a long rest yet and as you can see he really doesn't have too much worthwhile left so that's where we're going to go and try this new inventory reset exploit and see what happens and because i have so much money from the bag exploit and other things i'm just gonna buy everything in this video so for this exploit, you're going to need to have Withers unlocked and at your camp. He can be found in Act 1 in the depth of the Dank Cave. Finding him isn't one of the easiest missions, but I had him unlocked before I even found the vent. So this is kind of funny because this looks like the first time I've talked to Withers on this playthrough. So we're just going to have to get through that quick dialogue to get to his actual dialogue. So to reset your levels, you can pay him 100 to change your class, but what we're going to do is get ourselves a hireling. Because with the hirelings, it doesn't matter who we pick, what we do, what we change them to, because we're never going to use them. We're just going to leave them at our camp to keep leveling them up. So we'll just pick any one of these ones here. Edit appearance. Doesn't matter. Just do that. Click that. Who knows? You know, whatever. None of this matters. So we're just going to give him a dumb name. Little Bob. And now we're just going to venture forth. So now that we have the hireling, they will pop up somewhere here around Withers, and then we can just take control of them. And as you can see, they already have an arrow up on them, meaning they have some levels to be applied. When you start with a hireling, they are given the equal amount of levels that your main character has. Doesn't really matter, but go ahead and ungroup them as well so you can leave them at camp. All right, so now that we got our hireling, let's get into this exploit. So we're going to level up the hireling. Doesn't matter what we pick because none of this matters. We're just gonna reset them later. So go ahead and just do the level. After we've got the level up, go ahead and leave. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch to our character that we left at the vendor, or you can just travel to one real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to Aaron who probably hates us already, but as you can see, all of his items have reset and we didn't have to take a long rest. So what I suggest doing here is taking all the things that are of value, like spells, especially spells, because you don't even have to be a mage to use them. And potions, and then after you can take the potions, just grab your things like arrows, lock picks, disarm tools, scroll of revivifies, any of the dyes you want, whatever you really want from them, the choice is yours. You, you don't have to take exactly what I take, but those are just things I recommend. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy these things from him, get these transferred over into my inventory, you see I got them, exit, and leave the dialogue. So now we're gonna switch back to our hireling again. They still have another level, take them up to number three, do whatever you have to do to apply level three. So it says we have to do this, just pick something, doesn't even matter, level up. They're all excited. Click the X to exit the level up screen, and then we can go right back to our main character who is at Aaron or the vendor of your choice, whoever your character is currently standing near or you're going to go visit. Oh, game's bugging out there. I don't know what that was, but okay. Of now course. we're going to get into the barding menu again. And as you can see, he has all his back. Oops, uh, hope post editing me puts a bleep there. So again, I highly recommend taking scrolls, arrows, potions, all those things, especially like scrolls that do damage. So like if you find one of like ice spike or fireball or something like that, you if you have a bunch of those scrolls, you can just basically use that attack as many times as you have those scrolls and not take up spell slots. So incredibly convenient to stockpile the scrolls. And I know a bunch of you are probably like, well, we don't have enough money to buy all that stuff. Maybe. I got you covered in a new video coming soon. All right, so same mumbo jumbo. You can go back to the hireling and keep leveling them up till you run out of levels, but we're gonna pretend I'm already out of levels. So what you do is you just go back to Withers, talk to his scary old bag of bones, and then we're just going to change class. After we've got this menu pulled up, doesn't matter what we pick, we can pick anything in here. So we're just gonna click a monk, doesn't even matter. And as you see, we got a level up still. 
and we're back to level one going to level two so that's how you reset the process so you can just basically keep doing this infinitely and that's why it's an exploit and as you can see back at the vendor he has all his junk back do the same stuff that we just did and just keep doing it over and over and over again until your little heart's content <laughs> lol I want to personally thank all those who stuck around to the end of the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more BG3 videos like this.